Hey guys. So this video is a quick rundown on how I created these heads. And if you're watching this, I hope you had a chance to check out all three of the different makeups I created for my Killer Clown series. So let's get into it. Before I built the heads, I did create the ears first. Took a board and sketched a rough guideline out for each character and did a flat sculpt with water-based clay. I only spent about 20 minutes sculpting all these since I had so many more other things that I needed to be done for this project. Once they were finished, created a hydrocal plate mold. After the stone is set, cleaned all the clay out and brushed in some layers of latex. Did about three good layers. When they're dry, sprinkle some baby powder so they won't stick and peel them out. Now all three sets are ready to go. First off is Shorty. For the head shape, I figured it would be easier to start with a pre-made structure. Got a styrofoam half sphere from the craft store. Marked on the head where it was going to land, because I don't need to put anything past that point. Used Scotch Spray 77 adhesive to keep the craft foam in place. Placing the foam back a little so I have some space to create better edge with latex. Cut it down since I'm basically making a helmet for him, and add some cuts in any places where it wants to buckle. Because I'm going to be building it up a lot from this step, it's totally fine if it overlaps. I did put a piece across the back to attach the two sides. Took thick latex and coated the foam. I didn't add anything to it, it's just really old latex that I had lying around so it was already in a thicker state. Pop on the styrofoam and start to build out the cotton, which is sold in a roll form. The latex is still wet so the first layer sticks. To add more, I just spritz a little spray adhesive and build up the cotton. To keep it light, I took a tongue depressor and covered the cotton with thick latex, kind of like frosting a cake, because I didn't want the cotton to absorb all the latex. First layer is always the trickiest because the cotton wants to shift around. To make sure the dome and the section that I built were going to stay together, I basically used a paper mache technique, only using paper towels soaked in prosate adhesive. In stride, this will keep everything together. Add some coats of latex to get everything uniform, then to blend the transition from the styrofoam, added some latex soaked cotton. With the latex ears, figured out the position and started to create a support. I used T-pins to keep the ears in place, then blended them into the head with more latex soaked cotton. The cheeks are just balled up cotton. To get this final look, I made things smoother using a few layers of thickened prosade, also known as Bondo. For the base color, I sponged on a mixture of white acrylic paint and prosade adhesive. Did a couple coats to get a solid color. When it dried, powdered it to make sure it wasn't sticky. For the shading, I didn't have Skin Illustrator in liquid, so for the airbrush, I just mixed a good amount of alcohol and used a brush to carry the color from the cell to the cup. First color is soot out of the grunge palette. Add some shading in the ears and did some noodling on the head. Then use dark brune over the same areas as my darker tone. To give it a little more life, I did some noodling in Skin Illustrator Capillary out of the American Horror Story palette. Spattered white Skin Illustrator to break up the color, I just airbrushed then spattered soot and dark brune for texture. Use HD matting spray to seal and give it a nice finish. Since I knew I wanted to reuse the head for Rudy, I glued Shorty's hair to strips of latex. Use double stick tape so that I can remove it easy. Also made sure to remove the head from the base before adding the hair so I wouldn't have to worry about smashing it during that process. I got this great green hair from iKick Shins. I did douse it in cheap non-aerosol hairspray to help it keep its shape. Waited till the pieces were on the head before I trimmed it up and did final styling. For styling, I did use some Redken 32 Triple Take, which worked really well since it puts out a lot of product at once. You could do this with any hairspray of your choosing. For Rudy, took the post makeup shorty head, removed the hair pieces using some alcohol, since I didn't want to damage the latex underneath in case the tape stuck a little too much.
then cut away the buildup around the ears, then pull them off. Use baby wipes to remove most of the makeup, though not too concerned of getting it super clean, because I was just going to go over it with more Pax paint. Sprayed a little 77 on the areas where I wanted to put Rudy's ears, and hold them in place with pins. His ears were a little more narrow, so I did end up cutting away more behind them. Once they looked good, went around them with latex and some cotton to build up the skin. To smooth the latex, added some thickened prosade and feathered it out with water. Also used this product to fix and add shapes around the ears. Started to paint over the head with the white acrylic and prosade mixture. Since I was a little impatient, I just avoided the wet areas around the ears. Then once that dried, I did paint that white too. Just like Shorty did spatters and airbrushing of Skin Illustrator Soot, Dark Brune, and Capillary. Sealed it with HD Matting Spray. I didn't plan on resourcing this head, so I sketched out the hairline placement with some soot color and applied prosate adhesive in sections. Once the glue becomes tacky, start laying on the red hair. After the hair is laid, I sprayed non-aerosol hairspray on the top portion to help it hold its shape a little. I found this works better than traditional hairspray to get it up and standing. Then going in with some Redken Triple Take Spray and started to loosely style it all over. Grabbed some scissors and textured and styled it further and getting it to the length I wanted. Also thinning out some places by lightly pulling out chunks of hair some more hairspray, then it's ready to go. And finally, fat sew. Started with a quick spritz of spray adhesive, then taking the craft foam and forming it on the head. Similar to before, though this time I'm using it on the top of the head. Next I took a piece and used it kind of like a loose neck brace. Kinda regret designing it this way because I'm claustrophobic and sorta hated every minute wearing it. The stuff we do for art, I guess. Once the understructure is made, cover it in latex and start adding cotton to thicker areas. Then carefully coated it with the latex. Once that had dried enough, went ahead and built more on the neck and head. Also figured out where the ears would lay and added some more material to support them from behind. Coating it all just as before. Pin the ears down in position and added latex to create a blending edge and build up the cheeks. Also put cotton behind the ears to create more of a ridge that the ears were missing since they were flat sculpts. Once I'm happy with the shapes and smoothed it out with thickened prosade, go over everything with that same Pax acrylic paint and glue mixture used on the other heads. When I'm happy with the opacity and it's all powdered, move on to airbrushing. Shade and spattering soot, dark brune, and capillary. Once that's all done, use the HD matting spray to kill any shine and remove it from the original form before adding the hair. Once again, I used hair from iKick shins, applied prosade to the area, and start laying down the hair. Use that non-aerosol spray to get the hair to stand up. Trimmed it where it needed, and finished the style off with some Redken spray. It was ready to go. And remember, the great and powerful JoJo commands you to like, comment, and subscribe.